Good morning. As always, thank you for being here. And as always, take a moment to silence your cell phone, put it away, and give your undivided attention to the presentation. Here to introduce today's presenter is Addie Finch. Good morning. I am so fortunate to be able to have Jaden as one of my closest friends. I met her in August when I came to North Cross, but I feel like I've known her so much longer. She's always caring and considerate of everyone around her and has a fun, uplifting personality. From being on a dodgeball team, bowling team, and going to homecoming in a group together, I've gotten to know more about her and enjoyed every second together. We've had many debates over music and which artists are better. better. And although we both know I definitely have the better music taste, Jaden is very passionate about the music she likes. Here to talk to you today about how music affects the brain is my 20, Jaden Rhodes. Many factors can positively or negatively impact the human brain and how music and how music has the ability to strongly affect the brain in many ways. But how and why does this music affect your brain so much? Music can impact the development of your brain as well as your mental health, mood, emotions, and more. Music affects the human brain differently depending on what music genre you listen to and what stage of development your brain is in. Studies have shown that there is even a correlation between the amount of time someone has spent listening to music during their childhood and their academic performance, creativity level, and self-esteem during adolescence. I listen to music every chance I get, especially when I'm working out or doing homework. Believe it or not, I listened to music as I was writing this speech. My favorite music genre is R&B because I feel like it calms my emotions and feelings enough to focus on what I'm doing. It is estimated that at least 270 million or 95.6% of Americans age 13 through 20 listen to some sort of music daily. Music is formed by combining vocal and instrumental sounds in such a way that produces harmony and expresses emotion. So many people around the world listen to different types of music depending on what helps them the most and what tasks they are performing. Everyone knows that there are many genres of music, but not too many people are aware that there are over 1,300 genres. Music affects the youth more dramatically than adult brains because young brains are not completely done developing until their mid-20s. Therefore, music can begin to control how adolescent brains develop based on what we listen to and how often we listen to it. Listening to a variety of music empowers early brain, develop brain development in fetuses. The reason for this is that music facilitates neuron associations within the brain. When exposed to music as a fetus, it strengthens the development of brain structures and neural connections. Neural connections are pathways that connect neurons and nerve cells in the brain and central nervous system. Studies have shown that there is a link between exposure to music during childhood and higher IQ scores, as well as improved literacy development. Literacy development can help children with developing verbal memory, reading skills, and mathematical skills. The importance of music is growing and making an impact in education, just like any other part of your body becomes stronger when you exercise, it works the same for the brain. Frontiers for the auditory sense system is highly interconnected with the sensory areas. If you think back to preschool, this is when you were taught the ABCs. Now, if someone were to ask you, what comes five letters after G? Most of us would likely start singing the ABCs in our head to figure out that answer. The reason for this is that the repetitive melodies and rhythms help us to memorize lists, stories, and much more. Therefore, the more you interact with music, the better your academic performance will become due to our improved memory growth and span. Based on the Billboard Luminant, the top four music genres of 2023 were R&B, hip hop, rock, pop, and country. Whenever someone thinks about different types of music, these genres are usually what first comes to mind. But why is this? Scientists have discovered that not only have these genres been trending over the past decade, but they also make people feel good, which might explain why they are so popular. 
Each genre of music can impact our moods and emotions differently. Upbeat and energetic music like rock and hip hop can give you the feeling of euphoria, as well as improve your energy level and get your brain more prepared for learning. However, instrumental music can help you feel more calm and centered once it's time to buckle down and concentrate while reading or studying. Upbeat music like pop causes the brain to produce chemicals like dopamine, which creates feelings of joy. Some music genres have a less positive impact on your mood. For example, in the 2010 study by Emporia State Research Studies, students who studied, who studied heavy metal music had a higher anxiety than those that listened to classical or pop. The classical and pop genres resulted in increased feelings of calmness and decreased levels of worry and tension. As I did more research, I was curious to see how music affects the students and faculty at North Cross. So in December, I surveyed 15 students and 15 teachers. Each student said that they listened to music every day and that it was also a part of their daily routine. The same 15 students also said that music has the ability to affect their mood, either positively or negatively. When talking to the teachers, however, it varied a little. Eight out of 15 of the teachers stated that music does change their mood, while seven out of the 15 said that it does not affect their mood. While this was a small sample size, these results show that music has a stronger impact on North Cross students than faculty. Listening to music during childhood not only helps them educationally, but it can also help adolescents figure out who they are. The theory of social identity suggests that individuals view that the in, that an individual's view of themselves is influenced by the group that they belong to, since people usually categorize themselves in order to have a better understanding of themselves within their social setting. The effects of music preference are more related to social self-esteem than personal self-esteem. The difference between the two is that personal self-esteem shows someone's feelings about themselves while social self-esteem relates to their feelings within themselves with a friend group. Research by the Journal of Psychology of Music has found that fans of specific genres, such as heavy metal and rock, usually have a lower self-esteem. Other fans that listen to rap music tend to have a higher self-esteem. The study indicates that there is a negative relationship between a preference or intense of rebellious music and self-esteem displaying that individuals with lower self-esteem are more likely to listen to opposional music styles like heavy music. On the other hand, a preference for energetic or rhythmic music is positively linked to self-esteem regarding group memberships, meaning that those who listen to upbeat music genres like pop and R&B typically have a higher self-esteem. With mental health issues like anxiety, depression, and stress on the rise, music therapy has become more and more common over time. While talk therapy and medication are the most common forms of treatment, music therapy can also be used to treat these conditions. Music treatment, also known as music therapy, is a technique that many people use in their daily life. Studies have shown that it can reduce anxiety in ICU patients of 65%. Music therapy can help to improve symptoms of anxiety, depression, and stress. Music therapy is proven to have great benefits, usually resulting in positive outcomes. Because music therapy is low cost, more people are being drawn to it. Depending on the genre, music can adjust your emotions by increasing dopamine levels, and it can also distract you from any negative thoughts you might have. Listening to music also deals with the amygdala part of your brain, which controls blood pressure. When, de when dealing with depression, anxiety, or stress, it can lead to an elevation in heart rate and blood pressure. There is a reduction in blood circulation in the heart, and the body produces higher levels of stress. Music can also help with feelings of depression by providing a positive distraction and therefore boosting energy levels and increasing positive emotions. There was a study performed at Aishu University in Taiwan with 28 students. Each student was diagnosed with either major or minor depression and anxiety. This experiment was 
performed to find out the effectiveness of music therapy. The results showed that those who participate in music therapy had lower anxiety than those who did not. Not all music can benefit you as positively as other music can. Some music can be considered violent or aggressive, which can have a negative impact on your brain development. Since adolescent brains are still developing, exposing teenagers to negative influence could cause them to learn and develop bad habits. For instance, researchers from Iowa State University and the Texas Department of Human, of Human Sources found that, quote, aggressive music lyrics increase aggressive thoughts and feelings, which might perpetuate aggressive behavior, end quote. Many studies have proven that heavy metal music can cause aggression, anger, and even suicidal thoughts. An article from NCBI said that, quote, listening to rap music was significantly and positively associated with alcohol use, problematic alcohol use, elitic drug use, and aggressive behaviors when all other variables are controlled. Additionally, alcohol and elitic drug use are positively associated while with listening to music genres of techno and reggae, end quote. As stated, the more someone hears something, the more likely they are to agree or take part in it. In the past decade, music has been easier to access with platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. This means that the concerns with music's influence on adolescents has become more and more perp perpetent. Some artists only have one motive, which is to inspire others with their music. However, some artists like NBA Youngboy, Lizzo, and even Taylor Swift have occasionally given their listeners poor advice in their songs. Regarding Swift, the Liberty University newspaper released an article in 2019 that stated, quote, Instead of showing girls how to respect men and set an example of how to have a healthy relationship, Swift only sends the message that unstable, sporadic relationships are okay because you can make money off of the breakup, end quote. Many factors can exert both positive and negative influences on the human brain, with music proving to be a force that can deeply impact the mind in various ways. The influence of music extends to the development of the brain, mental health, mood, emotions, and more. The impact of music on the human brain varies based on the genre listened to and the development stage of the brain. Music can be used as a treatment or therapy that will help us with the daily problems in life that we deal with. Not only that, but it can, but it can also help us find out who we are and strengthen our social identity. We still have to be aware of the negative impact that music can create for us. Some music genres are considered to be aggressive, which can lead to an increase in aggressive behavior. Overall, music usually has a positive impact on our daily lives, even when we do not realize it. So the next time you put your headphones in, you should ask yourself, how will this music affect my brain? Thank you. Congratulations, everyone should be good.